Good afternoon, everybody. 12.01 May, 12 .01 p.m. May 14th. We're going to run through some of these chart plays quick. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. Sorry. Swing trade alerts. Let's see. Uh, so ITCR. Uh, these are the re resistance points. Oh, it takes us right to the chart, hey? Didn't want that. Uh, anyway, uh, it cleared the 50 MA, um, getting into um, the first intraday, and it's been a great long. I called this when it was on its way down, and now we're starting to watch the upside. So I'm starting to put the intradays in there. The swing um, resistance points are there. So here's the live chart. It's going well. It's up over the 50 MA right now. Perfect, perfect, and there's a main resistance there, but there's some intradays in there that you see here. So that one's going well. Uh, your big intraday is at um, 23.78, I guess, I better, or that's your big swing. Uh, let's do this right. Let's do this right. So you've got your levels. Sorry, I should have had these open, but I just walked in. Okay. So, intraday resistance, right where it is, 21, 22, that's what it hit. Uh, 22, 30 is your next one. Then your first swing at 23, 85. So, that's a serious one up there. And then after that, you got more overhead. Uh, let's take a look at them real quick, just in case we get up there. So you got, uh, so the one I mentioned, 23, well, 78 or whatever it is. Uh, let's do this properly. Come on, Kurt. And then this one's quite a ways, 30, uh, 63. So I'm going to model this one because it's in play properly, and uh, we're swinging it to win it. <clears throat> That's ITCI. Then we've got the S&P. Uh, got up through the target. These targets have been fantastic. Right up into uh, resistance here today, trimmed in advance, and up and over, and adding. We'll see. This target here comes in on the 18th, 27324 area. Well, a little higher, probably. Close. Yeah, 27340. I'm. Uh, shooting for the next one that'll be up here and it'll come in around 283.80 uh, probably closer to 283 so that's the S&P your next resistance up is 27450 next support down if it loses this pivot 27210 that's the S&P next is Bitcoin Bitcoin's right up against a mid quad that's what you're seeing on the S&P, too. That's a mid-quad there. Those are very important. <clears throat> it shot right up this morning. I don't know what caused it to go so fast, but, man, did it rock. Anyway, it stopped at the mid-quad here. It's about to alarm up and over. This could be an interesting play, boy. I was thinking a uh, lower target, but I was thinking, you know, it would turn in here because the bulls are in it. It's in a uptrend. It doesn't look like it, but it is. If you go out in the daily, <clears throat> it's on a reversal. Damn allergies again. Okay, so anyway, the upside target, this thing might do it. You never know. It's crypto. 98.80. Moderate to the side action, 88.71. And these are on the 29th at 1 o'clock. Or bearish down here at 78.94, but man, it made a real aggressive turn there. Lots of volume, so something happened there. I don't know if that's just big buyers came in or what. There were some huge blocks. Uh, silver, so I'm down three cents. Uh, entered overnight on a divergence in the model. This is a day trading model for a Supernova Silver R algorithm. It's uh, been hitting targets, you know really close to them if not hitting them so it's been really consistent and the reason why see it came underneath the target here and then it got really bearish 
underneath the target, and then finally it started to come up this trend line here, and it shot over the target. As soon as that happens, that's bullish. So I was watching it uh, up in here last night, and an overnight trade, I took my long, uh, I alerted it, and we'll see what happens. It's a starter position. Google, uh, up over a mid quad. So if you look at the diamond here, that's a trading quadrant. That's the structure. Um, there would be a target right in the middle here, a target at the top, target at the bottom, a target on the side, and sure enough, it hit it. And uh, shot for the top one, very bullish, came down, got into the support of mid quad, ran up the trend line, the quad wall, and got up through the mid quad, which is very key. So anyway, that was an add to a position or a new entry, depending on the member. EOG is right at resistance today. Just about triggered a long side add, long side end or long side add. It's a trim into this resistance. Resistance is at 119.61. Next one's at 128.15. Next one down, support is 108.91. I didn't give you your levels on Google, did I? Your next resistance is in and around 112781. There's a quad wall here, uh, intraday 1148.04. And next one above 1158.59. And then 1166 area support is 1078.58 under the mid um, quad horizontal fib. That is at 11.03.20. There is a video I posted on my Twitter feed over the weekend, just so you know. That's the swing feed. Anyway, it's on my Twitter feed, and it explains how to use these charts properly. It's five minutes long. You can also go to the YouTube channel. <clears throat> so that's ITCI. Edit. This one just got rocking this morning, and then it backed off. This model's a little bit rough. But um, the decision line is reading the 36.45 range. It triggered a long side add above. It has to close above that or, you know, it's at risk. Um, so I got a little bit excited there, but it got right into the target. It's been trading fantastic. We have, it was over its 50 MA. That's what got me excited. Anyway, that's a mid quad there. So it's pretty serious resistance at 37.70. Um, nonetheless, it should work its way either here, 37.65. Now, this is not until September, but I'm shooting, I'm betting for 47.49, late September. Let's see, is that mid-September? Mid-September. And what else happened on the swings this morning? Edit, 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 ITCI, Google. S&P, HTZ, um, so over the 50 MA on the hourly, getting into that 50 MA, I uh, trimmed, sent out an alert, and uh, we should look at it, should we not? That's a static chart. Let's look at a live chart here. HTZ. Oops, no model for it. Conventional trading. HTZ. Now, a lot of the posts that I put out lately, pre-markets, post-markets, videos, special reports, cover a lot of the stuff anyway, so you just go through it. So yeah, it's come off. Figured it would. Then it'll probably go bounce again and see it up against the 50 there. So that was kind of good timing for the members. Kind of, it was great timing. Uh, Sean originally brought this in the room, I believe. I believe he alerted that. Then we have silver. You guys know about that. And then GDX is playing out. And then all the other alerts from last week. Okay, so that's the alerts. As far as um, charts that people have talked to me about, 
think I have two left. I got one for Sean and one for, no, oh, there's one more out there. PFE on the yearly, that's Sean's. And then I have, uh, there's a lot of messages last night to look at charts. Let's see here. Can't seem to find the one. That, oh, wait. I think it was a direct message. It was. Okay. Uh, EEM. EEM and PFE. So let's look at those. EEM. PFE. I'll do EEM first, just in case Sean's still in the gym. His computer was bugging him today or something, too. EEM up against the 50 MA on the daily. MACD turned up. It's hard to say. It's hard to say because that 100, that's the 100 above that bothers me. Format. Brighten that up for you. There it is. Uh, it's not my favorite setup. Price would have to be above both with the 50 breaching through the 100. I take the, the middle of a play if I can, not the beginning or not the end, preferably. <clears throat> anyway, that's EEM. That's what I would watch for. So I'm going to alarm that. Add alert. EEM crossing 100 M8. And then we have uh, Sean's PFE, PFE. I'll pu publish this video tonight, so Pfizer, same idea. Oh, he wants me to look at the yearly or the daily? There's no yearly, probably the daily. Let's try the weekly. It's got the same problem. This one's got the 20 above it on the weekly. Uh, on the monthly. That's probably what he's watching. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, not bad. One, two, three. Uh, it's iffy. Stock RSI is coming down too. On the monthly, you don't want to be against that stock RSI. MACD is not the best on the monthly. I think it's iffy. It's up against uh, historical resistance. I think they're both um, soft, soft opportunities. Okay, 12.14, so we still got some time. Gold monthly I published. Volatility sure like, looks like it's getting into a time cycle in July. I published that on my Twitter feed, I believe. Silver, you know, well, gold. There's that big time cycle on gold. Oh, yeah. Alarms. This one alarmed this morning. I told everybody to watch it close and then I didn't. EXP. Yeah. Buy trigger. Earnings are in a day, so I'm going to wait for the other side of earnings. 107, let's call it, yeah, 107.90, alarm. That's EXP, Eagle Materials.
What's Box doing today? And hit that mid quad and came off. Earnings in 16 days. That's BOX. There's a model out on this one with awesome, awesome symmetry. Couldn't be better symmetry. Um, yeah, so we're just waiting to see. Upside resistance in and around 2039 with a target of bullish targets in the 3320 range. Bearish target. Well, anything's possible, but 2374. Trading 2738. It's a great model, if I do say so myself. Dollar, S&P, S&P. Ethereum. Man, I love this chart. So clean. There it is. So it's up over its MAs. It got into resistance at around 739.11. A little more to the next. 739.55. It's got a quad here. Wall, and then a mid quad. Here's your main resistance. 825.43. And then up at the top of the channel here. 906.97. I like it a lot. Super structure. Just really, really like the chart. For a number of reasons. That's Ethereum. E T H U S D. <coughs> Pardon me. Bitcoin uh, on its daily. I'll show you the um, the channel it's in. Now keep in mind we channel in advance, right? So you'll see channels that haven't even um, come to pass. You're wondering where these lines come from. They're algorithmic calculations. Yeah, so it's up over the 50 MA. It's under the mid-channel line, which is a little bearish. But you know what? The closer you can get me to the bottom of this channel, so I can take along, the better. I'm shooting for 17690. Yeah, 17690, July 4th. Can you believe that? Wow. So now, if it doesn't, you know. As long as it holds the bottom of this channel, I don't care. It could go up forever on the bottom of the channel. That's great. Just hit it at the bottom long and away you go. And that's it for me today unless somebody has uh, or unless anyone else has any charts they want looked at. I'll just make sure I hang long enough for you to speak your piece if you so wish. Welcome, by the way, David. And Jay. Okay, I think that's it. So it's 12:20, May 14, 2018. I'll be back for futures tonight, and I'll be out for the afternoon. Have a great afternoon. Talk soon.